Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play TurboGrafx-16 CD games on your mini system. A couple extra steps here. It is a little more complicated than getting the average game to run, but I'll go over all the details and make it easy to follow. A quick recap on how to mod your mini. In HackGCE, you want to go to the Kernel tab, then Install Repair. Click Yes. Connect your mini system to your PC. While holding Reset, Power On, and HackG will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. Let's start off by installing Retrowork and the core needed to get these games to run. Let's go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD Retrowork tab, select your version of Retrowork, then click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab, scroll down till you get to NEC. Here's what we're looking for, Mendefin PCE Fast. Once again, Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to your Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Mendefin PCE and Retrowork, then click OK at the bottom. Once they're installed, you'll get this done message. Now let's add the games. They might be in a folder in a bin and queue format, just like this. And it actually has this really neat feature where you only have to take the queue file and drag that into Hackchi. Now if we take a look at the folder that Hackchi created, you can see it already added all the bin files as well. We'll do the same thing with Godzilla. And once again, all our files are here. We are going to have to change our command line, so highlight both of your games, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. On the next screen, highlight your games again, click the second option, the TurboGrafx CD option, click Beetle PCE Fast, click Apply, then Close. Now our command lines are correct and they will work. This core does require BIOS files, and here's the BIOS files we have here. Gexpress PCE, SysCard 1, 2, and 3 PCE. All of them may not be needed for this, but they're very small in space. There's no reason not to add them all together. To add these BIOS files, go to your Tools tab, and go to Open FTP Client. Next, go to ETC, LibRetro, and System. Grab your BIOS files and drag them directly into this folder. Close that folder out, and we're all set. The next step is to transfer our games to our mini system. But as you can see at the bottom here, we don't have enough space. So you will have to use external storage. For this last step, you don't have to have your mini plugged into your PC since we're using a flash drive. At the bottom, we're gonna go to export to USB. Next, we're gonna select the drive we are using on our mini, then click okay. It might take a little while depending on the speed of your drive, but once it's complete, you'll get this done message. Now I'm gonna take out my flash drive, put that into the OTG adapter along with the power source, plug all of that into the mini, and that's all there is to it. If you need any help getting this to run, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit. Here on the SNES Classic, you can see we now have our TurboGrafx-16 games, Dungeon Explorer 2 and Godzilla all ready to go. I'm going to start with Dungeon Explorer 2. The BIOS screen is a good sign that we have the correct BIOS files and everything's starting up great. I've actually never played this game. I played the first one a little bit on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. This one looks to be really good too. I'm not going to stay on the game too much because there's a lot of dialogue going on right now that you can't hear. Um, but that demon thing is talking to those heroes and they're about to fight and then it goes into this whole story. But as you can see, the game is running really well. It sounds very nice. It is great quality. Also, has some interesting cutscenes. I highly recommend you take a look at this one. Next up is Godzilla. There's a bio screen, and we're ready to go. I didn't know this game existed for the TurboGrafx-16, but I'm glad I found out about it. It's very interesting. It's a fighting game, and just like Dungeon Explorer 2, the audio is really, really nice. With only two buttons on the controller, there's uh, limited as to what you can do. And that's all there is to it. There are a couple extra steps, so if you're having issues with any of this, once again, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit to ask for help, and someone should be able to assist you there. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.